Hello and welcome to The Walkabout. My name is Ross McKenzie and we have been very kindly lit into the Fast Piston Garage owned by a lovely gentleman called Waldo. Waldo is very kindly let us come in to film his 1968 Pontiac Firebird. An absolute stunning vehicle as you see. Waldo himself actually renovates American cars and he ships them all over the world. Um, he does this as sort of a side job as he's a civil engineer but he does a fantastic job on these vehicles and he he loves working on american cars in general and he has gone to town on this firebird and it looks absolutely stunning it's a beautiful example in my opinion now as the keen car geeks out there might point out that this isn't a factory color for one of these firebirds and you are correct he has painted the car in a 1992 Ferrari Monaco red. My God, it really works. And the reason I love the color is because you can really see the shape of the vehicle in that color. And I think, say with a lot of black cars and certain colors, you lose the shape of the vehicle. In this, you really see the lines coming through. Well, let's go into some history about the car because it's quite interesting how this came about. Back in 1965, 1966, Pontiac wanted to create their own supercar, I suppose, or sports car. They basically created a concept called the Banshee, but it does look very like the Corvette. And GM wasn't really happy with this because it would be a direct competitor to the Corvette. And I, I do understand that and it kind of makes sense. So... In 1966 alone, Ford Mustangs were selling over 600,000 units. So GM really had to compete against the Mustang and create their own pony car, effectively. And this is what they did. They created the F-body platform and then they rebadged the Camaro to the Pontiac or vice versa. But they basically created this stunning shape and this stunning car um, in retaliation to the Mustang. And my God, didn't they do it well? Because it is beautiful. And in my opinion, the F-body platform is a better looking car than the Mustang. And I know a lot of people are going, well, that, no, that's not true. But it, in my opinion, I, I prefer it. Horses are nice. Fish are fine. Sometimes. But for a road machine that really flies, get a Firebird, a Pontiac Firebird, the magnificent five from wide track country, flying out of your Pontiac dealers in mass formation. Check out a Firebird today. You'll find one to fit your personality and your pocketbook. Everything from a 165 horse overhead cam Firebird fun machine to the fabulous 325 horsepower Firebird 400. So turn in your tired cats. Horses or fish, and find out how little it costs to fly home in a magnificent new Pontiac Firebird tonight. It is gorgeous. The lines of it are fantastic. And the, the Pontiac is not everyone's taste because you've got that kind of beaky front nose, but even so, the fact that there's no front bumper or the bumper's integrated in the grille and then you've got that sort of swooping lines down the bonnet from that sort of front beak just look fantastic, especially in this red. Now, the Pontiac Firebird actually had different engines to the Camaro. For example, the Camaro engine at the time was a 396 cubic inch or a 6.5 litre if you're European, but the Pontiac engine was a 400 cubic inch, which was a 6.6 V8. So they actually had different blocks for different cars. And this was quite common at the time because Pontiac and Chevrolet, even though they were part of GM, was massive. They were massive companies separate. And actually, cost effectiveness, it, to, it was easier for them to develop their own engine blocks and create their own engines. Old, Oldsmobile had their own engine range as well. And that was just the norm back then for the amount of units they did sell. This particular Camaro has a 400 cubic inch, uh, 6.6 V8, with a three-speed gearbox, automatic gearbox, that is. Now, 
originally Waldo had this car with a 350 in it, um, but then he swapped the block to the 6.6. Uh, the original horsepower that this engine would have had was probably about 350 brake horsepower. I could be wrong there, but about that sort of power, maybe 300. But Waldo has done some upgrades and performances on, this, on the car itself, and he's put uh, performance cam on it, performance headers, so the car itself is making probably around the region of about four to 500 horsepower. Also, he has lowered it slightly, so to give the car a better stance and put these American racing alloys on it, which makes it look absolutely incredible. I just love the design of this car. It's, it's just beautiful. I love the chrome strips down the side, the little 400 badge on the bonnet, and then the little arrows at the back. And also the back of the car, has these amazing tail lights, almost just like slits, but it really works. Um, and in my opinion, it looks, looks better than the Camaro. It's more subtle and it kind of looks a bit meaner. And I love the shape, how the roof line comes down and into the back of the car. It looks gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And it, it's an iconic shape, it really is. If, some, if you ask a kid to draw a muscle car, they, they would draw this shape. Also, what I really like is how the exhausts are just tucked under, just behind the back wheels. Now, if we go inside the boot itself, or the trunk, if you're American, probably the trunk, let's call it the trunk, and we go inside the trunk, um, and the mechanism of just turning the key and opening up, it just feels fantastic. And Waldo's done a fantastic job in here and just restored it almost back to how it looks from the factory. Now, moving on into the interior of the Firebird, I find the interior a lot simpler than a lot of cars of the same period. If you look back at the 60s and you take cars like the Thunderbird or the Galaxy 500, they had far more lavish, chromey, chintzy interiors, almost Art Deco in design. And then the Firebird itself is, is very simple in the way it's just got this sort of fake wood center console that goes up to the sort of center section on the dash and a couple of dials. There's not a large amount of distraction in here. And the seats are simple, comfortable, quite spongy to sit on in the back and in the front with this sort of nice sort of black leather that they have. Uh, crank handle windows, no electric windows or anything like that. This particular car does have air conditioning, which was a optional extra at the time. But as you can see, it is a simple design. So now we're going to take the car out and take it for a little spin. But that is the end of our video. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this. Or if you have a vehicle that you want me to come and have a look at, please do. Uh, send it over. I would I'd love to see what car it is. And it can be any year, any car. If you're proud of it, send it. Also, just quickly as well, Waldo has actually got this car up for sale for £26,000. Which, in my opinion, is an absolute bargain. But anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. Enjoy. Please subscribe. See you later.